Hello guys, Sim Racing Dalton here, or Andy Dalton, if you uh, know me off iRacing. Uh, I've been asked quite a lot on YouTube and on Twitch to bring you guys a video of my rig setup, monitors, PC, wheel, pedals. I've had some internet issues over the past couple of weeks and also my, my son has been ill. Uh, he's had some tummy bugs, so I've not really had the time I would have liked to have had uh, to, to put this together properly for you guys, but I figured, you know, you've waited long enough, I'll get this out, and if need be, we'll do a, a stronger copy of it in a couple of months, uh, where I should have had some some updates, I'm, I'm looking to get some new parts for it as well, so, um, so without further ado, we'll get right in, guys. Um, as you can see, the first part that stands out, it is this tremendous rig, um, that the heart and soul of the whole operation really um, it's got this awesome seat which is bolted to the stand which mounts the wheel the paddles and it also comes with a triple monitor stand as well uh, the seat is fully adjustable as you can see here you can recline the seat back and forward uh, you can also with the seat on these sliders here you can slide the seat back and forward uh, to make it easier to get in uh, to make it more adjustable for more people using the rig so it's really good and you know, I'm uh, I'm six foot two and I can use the rig and also with the assistance of a cushion in the back of the seat my uh, my partner can get in there as you've all seen uh, she's five foot four so uh, there's quite a big difference between myself and her uh, but but the rig handles that perfectly with the the rig, with the package I got, I got the, the triple monitor mounts, which as you can see at the moment, I always bang my head on these uh, monitors. Um, this is the second time of doing this video now. The first time I banged my head on the monitor. So I um, called that one a wrap. But as you can see, I've got a bit of Velcro on the back there just to hold them in place so that if I do bang on them, they don't you know knock themselves out of line because they can become a bit of a pain if they are out of line. Um, to get them all all right, that the 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 way they're supposed to be. Um, secondly, with the Supreme package, I'll just take a seat here. You also get the addition of the cup holder. You get this bar that mounts on here. You can have it higher. You can have it lower with the holes provided. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting's. Um, I'm in a loft room, so the lighting's quite bright, but in some places you don't get enough. Uh, but with them holes, you can mount it higher, you can mount it lower. Uh, I've used the shifter mount, which isn't really um, made for the club sport shifter, but it's done the job quite well. It's, it's really sturdy, you know. It's uh... then you've got the the keyboard tray, and uh, to be honest, I wish the keyboard tray my only. Uh, Thing would be is that I wish the keyboard tray would either mount lower to the to the floor um, on these mounts that don't really move so much with the rest of the rig or onto the monitor stand. The reason for that is when you're racing you get quite a lot of vibration. Now this is just me shifting gear uh, and as you can see the mouse and keyboard is is moving quite a lot. If I turn the wheel you also get the same effect of vibrations. Um, so I have a little bit of of dashboard sticky thing here I'm not entirely sure what it's called but it just keeps the the mouse from uh, vibrating off the desk um, but I, I love it it does the job perfectly you know you can bring the keyboard um, normally I would do this with two hands but I can bring the keyboard and mouse around in front of me um, type of way you know it's it's really just all, all adds to the experience you don't have to uh, have the keyboard on the floor, pick it up, bang it on your lap. You know, it's um, it can be quite quite annoying. I, I should say, with my last rig, I didn't really have any room to put it on my lap. You know, I was uh, I was constantly in the seated position. Uh, there was there wasn't a lot of movement in the seat, and what I found was you had the keyboard on your lap, you had your knees up, you was, you know, you you just felt quite squashed. And in this, it's it's quite easy to make yourself feel comfortable. I don't always race in this, you know, the, the rig. I um, I do play other games as well, Call of Duty, 
uh, Battlefield, Skyrim, you know, uh, Euro Truck. So it's it's good to get in there and have a nice comfortable platform where you can play almost anything you like really. Um, so so that's the the basics of the rig. Now you you can adjust the the triple monitor stand. You can uh, have the screens higher. You can have the screens lower. The screens will also uh, do a full 360 rotation, which I can't really show you because it's velcroed on. But the uh, the back bracket on the back here will rotate a full 360 degrees. So um, you, you could turn the, the monitors on the head if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but you could mount them vertically as well as horizontally, just to um, to suit your needs a little bit more. Um, to move on, um, we'll we'll go to the wheel next. Th this is my wheel. I've, I've currently um, only had this wheel for a couple of months. I upgraded from the Fanatec uh, GT3 RS uh, V2 which I had for quite some time, it was a really good wheel but it just doesn't compare to the G, to the Thrustmaster T500 RS uh, the, the wheel is, is really really sturdy, it's built really well you know a lot of people complain about the static paddles but I don't really find it much of a problem because in all the GT cars or anything with a H pattern I'm using this and anything that uses flappy paddles, this includes the McLaren MP4-12C GT3 I use the uh, the formula rim so you know if you wanted to as well they do sell an add-on for about 60 pounds where you can switch this rim off for, for one that's pretty similar but it does have um, mounted um, shifter pads so you can you can drive the way you, where you like really uh, the pedals are awesome uh, my old set of pedals I still have over in the corner I'll show you um, show you shortly but upgraded from the Fanatec clubs, uh, Fanatec CSR standard pedals, and these are a lot better. They feel a lot more authentic. They're fully metal, you know. As you can see, the foot plates metal. They're really heavy duty, you know. They they, they feel great, and instantly I could feel a notice uh, a notice a difference in the way I was driving, the way I was using the brake. So you know. Anybody that says you need a set of club sports to go fast is, is lying. You know, I would say they add to the authenticity, but you know, for anybody on uh, a reasonable budget, they, these are fantastic pedals. They do the job just fine, and they come included with the wheel. You know, you can't can't complain that for the same price of the club club sport pedals, you'd be looking at the the same price as the wheel and pedals almost. So, to move on. I do have one Fanatec product left, uh, which is the Fanatec Club Sport Shifter, which is, I would say, almost my favourite piece of equipment. It just adds so much to to i racing, to Euro Truck Sim, City Car Simulator. You know, any games you want to play um, that will, will allow you to use a H pattern shifter or a sequential shifter, uh, and the ease of switching it over it is incredible you know I, I previously had the the standard CSR shifters and whenever you wanted to go from H pattern to clubs to sequential you had to take the whole thing off and mount a different one and it just became a pain so with this one you have the the simplicity of switching it over at the side uh, we have H pattern mode and then with the simple flip of a switch you've got Sequential mode with no side to side motion uh, returns itself straight back to the middle. Uh, this also comes with a second knob. I'm sure you guys have seen me using this when I am using the H pattern shifter normally in the NASCARs or the Master or the Ford Mustang, but that's an awesome you know, addition. The weight of this thing as well, you, I won't be able to, to explain the weight all over the video without weighing the thing, but I, I would say you know, it, it weighs more than or almost as much as the, the rim on the wheel itself, you know, it weighs quite a lot. The sequential one's quite a lot lighter, uh, for obvious reasons. So, we, we've got through now, we've we've done the, uh, the, the rig, the monitor stands, uh, the wheel, pedals and shifters. So I'm going to move in now, guys, and, and, and show you my PC. Now, I may have some trouble with lighting here. I have got a, a secondary light source to try and shine this in. I've taken the side off for you guys, which is just over here. Um, 
to start off with the case, I have a Corsair Vengeance C70, I believe. I may be uh, slightly off, guys, with some of these names, but I'm, I'm sure you'll understand exactly what I mean. Uh, it's been about almost nine months now since I built the PC, so the names become less and less uh, carved into your memory. So we'll move inside. Uh, as you can see there, um, we've gone with a blue and black theme. The the motherboard is an ASUS Sabertooth motherboard, Z87, as we're running the new Haswell i5 4670K chip inside. Uh, we've got a, a top mounted Corsair H100i uh, dual fan. Uh, we've got also another Corsair Quiet Series fan at the back there. We've got another one here and two at the front. Uh, we've got a Corsair power supply, digital power supply. As you can see, I quite liked what I, what I read about the Corsair products, what I had of them in the past, so I picked up quite a lot of Corsair. I've got the Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM, that's 16 gigabytes. And we've got just here, if you can see, is my graphics card, which I have a Sapphire um, 7950, a three gigabyte card. Uh, we've got down here, we've got an SSD and my uh, one gigabyte Western Digital Black Series card. Uh, I think that's that's pretty much all of what's, what's in there. I may have missed something off, but I'm pretty sure we've got all of the important things, guys. Um, I really do like the PC. Uh, I built it on a, uh, a mid-range budget of around about £1,500, and it does the, the job I need it to exactly, you know, so... Uh, so yeah, I would uh, recommend to anybody building your own PC, it was fun, I learnt all I needed to on YouTube, uh, and you know, it just gets the job done great. Um, to run on to some of my uh, peripherals now, we've got three 24 inch monitors, which are the, I don't know if this is going to focus, we've got the GEL 2450s, uh, I think they are the H or the M version, HM, whatever you know version it is. In the background there we have the Neo Endurance series running, uh, that was a three hour event there at Bathurst, we're just currently under the first and only full course caution. Um, as you can see the, the grid was quite, quite a fun grid, there were some good drivers in there and I really enjoyed myself. Unfortunately just this race was just before I started to stream so it wasn't live stream, I would have loved to have done that and when Neo come back with their events I'll be trying to qualify for some more of them for you. Uh, but I've got three of them 24 inch monitors. Uh, I did contemplate going to 27 inch and I'm quite glad now that, that when I, I did get the monitors I stayed away from 27 inch just because in my opinion sitting so close to them I might have felt a little bit uh, sick, motion sick you know. It helps to see a little bit of what's going on around your monitors just so um, you, you don't feel like you you're that involved you know some people like to feel more involved I would say I feel about as involved as I, I need to feel you know I can see everything I need to see without looking too far and um, no I don't I don't get any motion sickness from the rig which is which is good um, we have my Xbox controller and the Fanatec Club Sport uh, shifter mount which I picked up because I weren't sure how I was going to mount the system at first we've got the Turtle Beach I believe Ghost headset. Uh, it's a Call of Duty headset, but I really like the um, the adapter down here. Uh, it allows me to customize basically all of my sound. We've got um, bass and treble adjusters. We've got the mic adjuster here. I can add the mic off. Uh, the mic on telephone mode, so I can use this uh, adapter down here to take my phone calls through the headset. We've got a low microphone and a high setting for the microphone too. Uh, we've also got my um, iPhone charger, my iPhone 5C. Uh, this is what I plug in to the iPhone, um, the auxiliary cable, just to give myself some, um, some music when I'm racing coming through the headset. We've got my, um, my quite old now, it's probably about five years old, Philip uh, 5.1 surround sound. Uh, we're going to go upside down now guys, but uh, under the seat, I don't know if you'll be able to see under there, maybe we'll get a light. But we've got the subwoofer under there, 
So that does what it needs to do, plus it helps just feed a little bit of vibration under the seat. Um, then we've got one speaker over here, one speaker over here, and we've got one speaker there, and one speaker there. So, you know, the, the, uh, the surround I don't have it on often because I, I'm a family man, and the wife would kill me if I had it on too loud all the time. But, um, no, that works well. I've got the, the Talk Talk U-View box, which quite frankly has been used about five times since I got it. So that was uh, a waste of time. But, you know, I don't watch too much TV. And uh, when I do, I watch quite a lot of it on the computer or the laptop. So, you know, I don't have an awful lot of, um, of use for the U-View box. I just thought I'd pick it up as it could have been quite a cool addition, but it just worked out not to be. Uh, to move on with the per peripherals, we have Sparkle Racing Gloves, cart gloves. Um, we have matching Sparkle cart boots. Now, people might ask, why do you have karting boots when you're sat in a motionless rig? Um, my main reason for that is to not ruin my everyday shoe. If you can see this here, uh, this is the right heel. The, these shoes are made to last and within about six months my rig has started to destroy them. Uh, so you can imagine what it does to a normal pair of everyday shoes or slippers. Um, there's the right heel compared to the left heel. The left heel I don't do an awful lot with, just a clutch. Um, the right foot I brake and accelerate with so it gets quite a lot of wear on that right heel. And as you can see, it's getting pretty destroyed there. Um, I'm not sure if you can see properly the extent of the damage through the through the video, but but that's why I wear karting boots. One, because it's comfortable, gives you quite a bit of ankle support, and two, because I don't want to destroy my everyday shoe. To to wrap this up, guys, I, I think that's pretty much all, all I use at the moment to uh, to race with um, I currently changed all of this around yesterday I, I, I used to have it mounted, uh, all pointing into the corner I just find it looks a little bit better this way I get a little bit more light so I changed it all around so I could do this video for you guys I believe in it this way but I haven't yet found a way to mount my uh, my webcam which is why I've not streamed um, since yesterday because I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to mount this to get it to to look right yet I may be picking up a different webcam um, very soon so, so yeah that that's basically that guys I uh, I should be back up and streaming very shortly but that's the reason I haven't been um, I may try and stream just without the video that just to just to keep things moving. I want to be racing at Mount Panorama in the Ford Mustang. I've been invited to race in that with uh, Matt Malone, which is Showdown 1983. Uh, I like streaming with fellow streamers. You know, it's a, it's a good community. The guys are great. Um, so if you've liked the video, guys, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, give me a comment. Um, give me a subscribe as well, guys. I'll be bringing you plenty more videos from uh, from iRacing um, over the next coming months. I'm really enjoying my time on Iris and I've only been there st still only a slightly over 12 months. I've only been streaming since about December, but I'm really enjoying myself, guys. So uh, thank you very much for your, um, y your time watching this. It's gone on a little bit longer than I'd hoped. I was hoping to get it all in in about 10 minutes. It's, it seems to have taken double that. But uh, I appreciate you guys paying an interest in my, uh, in my rig and, and in my racing. So, um, so yeah, that's why I, I've taken the time out today to do this video for you guys. So I've hoped you've enjoyed it. This is my first video where I've not just basically gone on with what I've been doing normally when I'm racing. I'm just, I'm either answering questions live, guys, or, or um, I'm having a discussion with the guys in TeamSpeak or the guys in race, or I'm commenting on what's happening live. This is quite new for me to, to take the... The video for 20 minutes and just yammering on about my stuff 
you know, and try and make sure that I get in and answer all of the questions that you guys have got before you come and watch this video. So we're getting on to 20 minutes now, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, like I said, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all soon.